Well, our commentator at Filbert Street, the home of Leicester City, is Martin Tyler. Leicester City's Alan Smith is worth a million pounds. So say Chelsea, who put that sum on the table in transfer talks. Smith, however, is looking to attract an even bigger club and while waiting, hopes to score the goals that will keep Leicester in the first division. Smith has struck up a good understanding with club record signing Steve Moran from Southampton, while Gary McAllister, a Glenn Hoddle disciple, is one to watch in midfield. The team also includes two Northern Ireland World Cup men, John O'Neill and Paul Ramsey, but is still missing injured England defender Russell Osman. Wimbledon field the side which took the club into the fifth round of the FA Cup by crushing Portsmouth last Saturday. Vince Jones at number four has made a remarkable climb from non-league football with four goals in his eight first division games. But striker John Fashionu has gone down with a virus, so Alan Cork, who scored the winning goal against Leicester at Wimbledon in August, returns to the attack. David Allison from Lancaster is today's referee. Leicester City, by a remarkable sequence of events, are playing their first game on grass for five weeks. They've had a home game postponed over that spell and played two away games on artificial surfaces at Queen's Park Rangers in the Cup and at Luton. Steve Linex with a promising beginning for them on a surface which they much prefer. Linex part of a front three a couple of years ago with Alan Smith and Gary Lineker that were as good as anything around in the first division. But Gary Lineker of course has gone and Alan Smith seems certain to move on probably before the end of the season. who gives chase, the defender Andy Thorne. Cork beating Steve Walsh, Morgan, Venus. It'll be interesting to see how Leicester do in midfield and it's Ramsey breaking from midfield and being held by Dale and the name will be taken of the Wimbledon central defender. Ramsey had got the better of Brian Gale then. Gale pulled him back and his name goes into the notebook of David Allison. McAllister who's preparing to strike. Auckland. Fellow Scott and no offside. Winterburn leading the race. He started inside his own half and a clear opportunity goes away from Wimbledon. Right thinking from Nigel Winterburn. He covered a lot of ground, and Leicester, who had committed their resources forward at the free kick, which was blocked perhaps unfairly by a player closing down quickly to escape the attentions of the referee, Winterburn missed the chance at the other end. taking the free kick and finding Andy Sayer offside. behind the goal as Linax set his sights just dragged it wide with the left foot Gale couldn't control the long clearance with Smith there and Linax couldn't hit the target Steve Linax has had a spell away on loan at Birmingham City and the pushing was by Sayer as Walsh came across Leicester 
Manchester City with only one win in their last seven League and Cup games over the same period. Wimbledon have only lost one. So an early goal would do wonders for Leicester's confidence. And they're pressing here with some menace. And McAllister is in. And Besson produces a fine save. McAllister wonders. So too does Besson. How did he get through? Well, we can see it again. McAllister started it and very nearly finished it. Reversed back to him by Moran. Excellent goalkeeping. Morgan trying to flick it on. That's Venus. Comes from the northeast. Had a few games with Hartlepool as a non-contract player. Still only 19. Morgan, then Ramsey. No chances taken that time by the home side, who were massing players around the ball. And Hodges has put his side in trouble. This is Moran. This is Smith. And that's the goal. Understanding between the two shown again, but Wimbledon will look at Glenn Hodges, who gave the ball away. Moran took it up, and Alan Smith finished with a plum. And it's this calmness in front of goal that is attracting the top clubs in the Football League. 1 0 Leicester City, 17 minutes gone. And that's Alan Smith's 14th of the season. Mottlem there, who's played most of his football for Leicester in midfield, but always operated as a defensive midfield player, and today he's an out-and-out right-back. Morgan. Morgan. Fairweather. capabilities and that's produced a Wimbledon free kick but at the same time Wimbledon want to make their substitution so John Kay in the 27th minute and that will mean some reorganization for Wimbledon with Dennis Wise on as substitute lost it at the near post Jones following in fair weather too it was Thorne who took the free kick almost caught the goalkeeper out half an hour gone in the first half an enjoyable half an hour it's been say it Here's Winterburn, who's seen a lot of the ball. And Fairweather, a second time and a goal. 1-1. Andrew's a little bit unlucky, having stopped the first header. But the travelling support from South West London celebrates Carlton Fairweather's sixth goal of the season. And where was the marking? Andrews left exposed, and even his heroics weren't enough in the end. 31 minutes gone, Leicester City won, Wimbledon won. This is Sayer. Sanchez has joined Wise in the middle, and even Vince Jones had galloped forward to strengthen Wimbledon's hand, had the ball come across from Sayer. two Wimbledon players are saying well you've been booking our men what about this situation with Steve Walsh and David 
Emerson, in fact, does produce the notebook. It's by no means been a dirty game. We've had 39 minutes played. Two goals, plenty of trills and spills around the goals as well. But three bookings also in the statistics of the match so far. was in the right place this time but maybe saw it late Andy Thorne for the second time whipping the ball in to that area that Wimbledon can jest around the near post Hodges hits Sanchez I don't think he was best pleased McAllister Fairweather Took it well on the chest, and the shot was deflected. Andrews, understandably unhappy with the application in front of him at the moment. They let Wise get in behind them. Just plug the gap in time, but it's cost them another corner. Taken by Hodges. And Adam Smith in the right place again and it's Ramsey's header back in from Jones Horn Winterburn Cook making tracks to make himself available Mothman's gone with him Scoring of line X, it is a corner that he's conceded. decision which is a free kick to Leicester McAllister O'Neill and the flag has stayed down and Venus can keep it in play Gale lost it and so did Winterburn and Leicester couldn't quite pounce quickly enough of relief from the Wimbledon left back and was given just the moment he needed to recover Hodges prepared to bring the ball down inside his own area and the clearance really was no sort of clearance Linex McAllister good running from Ramsey a lovely pass to and Leicester recover their touch Ramsey the scorer and he earned the goal with some clever thinking which was matched by the quality in the pass you can see Ramsey setting off McAllister saw him too no question that Ramsey was right and on the side and best left with no chance it's an important clearance that from Venus as Sanchez was waiting to shoot here's Morgan Running into the tackle from Sanchez. Well, it's fast and frenetic. It might not be what the purists look for. But we have had plenty of quality in the first 45 minutes, which are shortly to be completed. We're in fact in stoppage time. Two sides of Leicester City really 
in the first half. Alan Smith giving them the lead when they were enjoying an excellent spell. And Paul Ramsey with a splendid second goal restoring that lead. But in between, there was some tentative defending and a goal conceded, scored for Wimbledon by Carlton Fairweather. But an invigorating first half and at half-time at Filbert Street, it's Leicester City 2, Wimbledon 1. So Wimbledon hoping to come back a second time, having been in the ascendancy in the middle area of the first half. I'm sure words will have been said at half-time about some of the defending that Leicester performed rather unconvincingly. Wimbledon do pose particular problems. They are easy to predict, as I've been saying, but stopping them is another matter altogether. And Andrews has to come far from his goal to clear from Fairweather. But the whistle had already gone. has abandoned the experiment of playing Mark Venus on the left-hand side of midfield. But Ian Wilson would be in Leicester's first choice team if fully fit. He's back now from injury that's restricted his appearances over the last month or so. Ryan Hamilton, second from the right as we look. In his first season as a manager in the first division, Northern Ireland International. I think Hamilton will be wondering quite how this game is going to develop. Leicester in front for the second time, but they haven't really worn that mantle with great conviction. Instead of being the stepping off point for a spell of confident play, each time Leicester have scored, they've rather gone back into their shell. McAllister perhaps typifies the inconsistency because that was a marvellous ball for Linex and Ramsey. A thrilling goal. Across the goal, but left Besant exposed to the run of Ramsey. But McAllister pulled another wonderful pass out again. He says Glenn Hoddle is his favourite player, and Hoddle would have been proud of that one. Linex with a lovely knockdown and a thumping finish from Ramsey for his second goal and Leicester's third. 3 1 after 58 minutes. Northland. Sayer turning O'Neill and it comes for Cork. Wimbledon might have had some claims for a penalty then, but I don't know whether you call it an advantage if it's play on inside the area for a foul. Maybe the referee didn't see one, but there was a tug on Sayer then who was doing a bit of tugging of his own. Cork had the shot into the midriff of Andrews. Hodges. And Wise homing in. And that was a chance to bring Wimbledon back into it. It was a penetrating pass over Morgan. Taken on the volley by Wise. And put over the bar with the goal gaping. Why is it 
broke for him. Cork is onside, gets a corner. A goal for Wimbledon here would set the nerves jangling amongst the Leicester supporters, maybe amongst the players as well. Thor picked out by O'Neill. Sanchez, here's Gale. Cork, so many red shirts forward. Gale trying to get a better angle, and he's done it too. Jones and excellent goalkeeping. Ian Andrews making a save, but Leicester City really, strange it might seem to say, when the team's 3 1 up, but they really needed this save. Wimbledon on the rampage, making chances, but denied by Andrews. Dale is cued. McAllister picking out the one man forward for Leicester, Steve Moran, who's brought his side some time. At the cost of a blow around the left ankle, it seemed. He's off the pitch, so the game can go on. Wilson holding off Sanchez. Now faced by Thorne and looking to chip the goalkeeper. Ian Wilson didn't really fancy running another defender. I think the referee had come across maybe to say, well, you were being fouled by the pursuing player. <laughs> Steve Moran, though, it seems, is going to take no further part. A forlorn figure. McAllister, back long. McAllister, and he was flattened by Thorne. In that tackle. And Jones stupidly is getting involved. There's no need for that. Thorne prepared to accept his punishment. After McAllister had kept Leicester in possession. And he's being sent off for the foul. With nine minutes left, it is going to be a ten-a-side game. Steve Moran off injured, with Leicester having used their substitute, and now Andy Thorne dismissed for that tackle on Gary McAllister. such a way that he stopped play immediately and the end of it all was the dismissal of Andy Thor. Walsh, here's Smith. Wise is in there, Cork is in there, and Andrews equal to the task again. A good volley indeed from Cork to get it onto the target from that angle. And Andrews shows good handling. Leicester have needed their goalkeeper in this match.
two substitutes. And David Allison has to move smartly across. First Division survival, their prime target. Paul Ramsey, with only one previous goal this season, has two to his name this afternoon to add to the early score from Alan Smith. Carlton Fairweather, the Wimbledon scorer. But Gary McAllister, perhaps the key to Leicester's season in some ways. When he plays, they play. When he drifts out of the game, they look a little rudderless at times. David Allison getting his share of the crowd's attention the final score at Filbert Street, it's Leicester City 3, Wimbledon 1.